All right, well, welcome back. And today, today is just about one thing, and that's keeping things in perspective. This is something that's been on my mind for quite some time. Oops, sorry. And doing this stuff and doing these vlogs, I just kept thinking about, you know, how do I keep things in perspective, especially being a small YouTuber such as myself and a lot of people that are out there. So I thought, okay, I got 10 tips and they're not only for you all, but they're for me too on how to just keep things in perspective doing YouTube vlogs, social media, and content creation. And I'll tell you what, I think today, what happened there? Oh, okay. I think today we're just gonna walk up into town. I haven't done that in a while. So let's take a walk up into downtown Cincinnati. It's not bad out today. It's a little warm, but it's not humid. So it's not unbearable at all. Now, before we get to all this, remember to like this video, subscribe right down there, that little button down there. And uh, also, if you would like to buy my wife or me a coffee, link is in the description below. All right, now this is something I normally don't do. I have notes, I have notes. So let's, uh, let's go with the notes right here on my phone. All right, so the first thing to help us all keep things in perspective doing this stuff is to basically flip the statistics around. Instead of focusing on the, like say the dislikes or the thumbs downs or the hater comments, focus on the thumbs ups, the likes, and the people who are on there saying, hey, I liked that video. That was not a bad video. And I really appreciate you doing that video. Focus on them, not on the haters. Cause you know, as they say, haters are gonna hate. All right, and number two is remind yourself on what is doing well. And that is something that I've really had a hard time focusing on because for me doing geocaching, I'm gonna be honest, I really don't get a lot of views off of those and I occasionally get subscribers off of it, but not a lot. And that really sucks because I love geocaching. I love getting out here doing geocaching videos. Actually, I got a couple new geocaches here in town. Whoop, excuse me. Yep, no, you're right. And I wanna go get those here down the road, but right now I am kind of focusing on doing these types of vlogs, some camera tech, stuff like that, which I am really enjoying doing. All right, we're gonna take a walk up here through town. They just tore this building down. Uh, and I might even go walk up here I may be moving from my job to another building, so I might take a walk up here and go check that building out. All right, let's move on to number three. Just remind yourself of the best and worst things that could possibly happen doing this stuff. I guess the worst thing that can happen is nobody watches your videos, which, oh, well, that kind of sucks, but I, I tell you what, I, I know how that feels. And the best thing that could possibly happen is people watch your videos and you get the 500 subs. Hint, hint, hint. But even if, even if nobody's watching your videos or you're getting just low views, how much is that really gonna matter in your life? Really, think about it. It's not the end of the world. You're not gonna die or anything like that. Yeah, it might bum you out, but that's gonna be about it. That's the worst that can happen. But you know what? If things turn around and things get better, then, you know, you could possibly, possibly, maybe even make a little money off of this and get you some subscribers and then become a big YouTube star. I mean, think about it. <laughs> that's definitely not my goal, but hey, that is some people's goals. All right, let's move on to number four. And it's something that I think I've learned pretty well over the last 
you know, year that I've been really trying to do these other vlogs, get out here, do public vlogging, is to learn from every situation. One thing I learned while doing these is that instead of trying to do B-roll as I'm walking and trying to do these vlogs, I figured out that that would just make things confusing. I would uh, get stuck, just things like that, that just made it really, really hard. So now what I do is I do the whole vlog, I get it completely done, and then, and then I'll turn around and do some B-roll and stuff like that. That makes it so much easier on me. It also keeps me focused on what I wanna talk about. And if you notice, no hat today. I forgot my hat. So hopefully my hair looks okay. Hopefully it's not a bad hair day. I, I don't know. It might be a bad hair day. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I didn't like the way the person cut my hair the last time or the time before that. So I don't know. Nobody seems to be able to cut my hair right. All right, number five is just make sure that you are looking at the bigger picture and your long-term goal. And that is something that I have not done until recently. Now, recently I've decided that I wanna to try to do something with this whole vlogging situation. So I have been vlogging more. I've been doing more content creation. I don't know, content creation, whatever. And I think that Overall, even, even though my sub -sub subscribers are not growing exponentially like some people out there, they're still growing and I am definitely growing as a person and learning. And getting out here and doing public vlogs is, <laughs> it's difficult, it's difficult. And that I think is not only helped me with my channel, but it's also helped me personally. I took the glasses off so I could read my notes. Uh, yeah, because it's gotten to some shade, which feels really good. So the next one, number six, is when you're losing perspective. Remember, take a step back and just try to refocus on what you're doing. I know I've had to do that several, several times. And for me, recently, I just haven't had a chance to come out here and do this kind of stuff. I just haven't had a chance to do it with work and the way things are right now. And actually, I think though that kind of helped me a little bit because it made me step back a little bit, rethink some things. And, you know, now I'm back out here hitting it hard again, hitting the pavement. Uh, like uh, it's Sky says, hugging the block and just enjoying the process. So just remember, if you start losing that perspective, take a step back for a few minutes and then refocus and then get back out there and do it. All right, now on to number seven. And this is probably one of the most important parts is get support from others. There's a guy on YouTube called It's Sky, lives in the Netherlands. And I'll tell you what, he is just fantastic. You can, you know, comment on his videos. You can ask him questions and he will respond. This is, now nah, we're not gonna go that way. That's just too much. That's too much noise. Too much noise back there. But anyway, yeah, I mean, get out there, talk to some of these other creators. Most of them are gonna be really, really cool. They're not going to, I guess, uh, be like uh, jerks to you or anything like that. And they're gonna wanna help. And then I know I've been doing this for quite some time and if I could help somebody, I will definitely help them out. I am definitely not a big creator or anything like that, but I'm still willing to lend anybody a hand, especially if it comes to, uh, you know, video cameras like this Pocket 3 and questions about that or even editing something like that. I'm, I'm not great at it, but I know enough. I know enough to, you know, maybe give some tips out there. So just remember, don't be afraid to get out there and ask for some help. Ask another YouTuber, creator, whatever you want to call them. 
for advice because most of them are more than willing to give it to you. Now, let's go to the number eight. Number eight is what will go wrong, can't go wrong. And believe me, I've been there, done that. I just, I've, I've been there, done that too many times. I've had times where I've went out and done a, a vlog and realized that I wasn't recording off my mic and it was recording off the camera and it sounded terrible. And I, I forget, there was another one where I did a whole vlog and I realized, I forget what it was, I, I did something and yeah, ooh, I got a bug on me. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> I was like, no audio whatsoever. None, none at all. Back in the shade, I can take those glasses off. Whew. So anyway, on that one, just expect things to go wrong. Uh, it's just part of the deal. It is just what it is. I say that over and over again. I'm gonna need to find another buzzword. But yes, most definitely. Just remember, things that can go wrong, they'll definitely go wrong. All right, let's move on to the next one. Number nine, we've got this one and number 10 left. So just two left. And number nine is, don't think of things as insurmountable. And although, oh, okay. Although I have been doing this for a long time and I would like to get to 500 subs, that really seems like it's been insurmountable. So if you'd be kind enough to hit that subscribe button down there, I truly would appreciate it. All right, let's move on to this last point. And this last one is probably the hardest part about this whole deal and that is to stay positive. It is really, really hard to stay positive doing this stuff. If you just gotta think that you're moving in the right direction, and I hope that I am with this channel. All right, well, that's it. That's it for me. Those are my 10 tips to try to keep all this in perspective. And I think at the end of the day, the last one is probably the most important one. Stay positive. Stay focused, just think about what you want to accomplish, what you want to do, and just make sure you just keep everything in perspective. It's hard to do, believe me, I, I, I struggle with it every time I come out here. Every day that I'm doing this and thinking about what I'm going to be doing next, it's hard to keep that perspective. But other than that, that's all I got. So everybody, be safe out there, take care. We will catch you next time.